We're going to create what's called an immersion bath with black bean water. So here I have about two cups of dried black beans. We'll add them to a bigger vessel or a big bowl at home will work really well. And then we'll fill the rest of this jar up with water, just tap water. We'll let these soak overnight and we'll check on them in the morning. You'll notice that after we soaked our black beans overnight, the liquid turned this really beautiful rosy color. And this is something you've probably already seen if you've made black beans from dried beans. The liquid becomes this beautiful shade of rose. Something that's really interesting about the two immersion dye baths we're working with today, the onion skins and the black beans, are that both are a byproduct from those foods. Onions are already going to create onion skins. And in order to cook the black beans, we soak them in water. So we're already going to have this beautiful source of color in both instances. To create the black bean dye bath, I'm just going to strain off this liquid using my colander. And I'll pour it directly into this pot. So you'll really get to see the color of the liquid in this case. Nice, pretty red color. I'll grab a little bit more water to give these beans a rinse. So now we have lunch and we also have a dye pot full of black bean water. In this pot right here I just have plain water. And I'll just squeeze out any excess drips before I pop it in my dye pot. You might also notice that I have sea clamps on this piece. And if you have these at home, they work really well in place of rubber bands when it comes to the Itajime Shibori that we did earlier in this session. I will bring it over to my black bean dye. When we're making the black bean dye bath, we want to extract the color from that black bean water cold. And this item has only been in here about 20 minutes and it's already extracting beautiful colors. It has been two whole days that our black bean bath has been soaking our fabric and check out this beautiful color. I'll remove my clamps and my shibori piece and we can unveil it together. I'll set my wet shibori wood out in the sun to dry. It should dry in just about a day. You wanna make sure that you give your wet wood a lot of space to air out because you could be left with some moldy shibori manipulatives. We have this beautiful color from our black bean soaking water and it was soaking cold for about two days. So black bean dye is notoriously what we call pH sensitive and you can shift the color dramatically based on what pH you expose your fiber to. I'll add a little bit of white vinegar to just my regular tap water to make this water acidic. And this is just distilled white vinegar that you might already have in your cabinet. Let's see what we can get when we add our black bean fabric in there. So we'll let that sit in there for just a few minutes. Here we have about a tablespoon of baking soda. I'll add that into my regular water. The reaction happens pretty quickly, so you can see the difference between our control and our alkaline baking soda shifted black bean dye. And here's our acidic shifted black bean dye. We're getting a beautiful range of purples to periwinkle to this 
lovely gray blue. 